grass gets greener every day. Hi guys. So today I'm going to do my September favorites for you and I actually haven't done a monthly favorites video in quite some time. So I guess this is more of kind of like my current favorite things just because it's stuff that I've been using for like months now. Um, but I'm pretty excited to do this video just because monthly favorites videos are my favorite videos to watch. I don't really know why, I just kind of like to see what people are using and I feel like it changes a lot like month to month. I don't feel like I have a ton of stuff but maybe a little bit more than average. So I'm going to try to motor through it so that I'm not like talking to you guys for a super long time because I know you guys say I talk too much. So yeah, I've got some skincare, makeup, and then perfume and hair stuff. So. If you guys are interested in seeing my current favorites or my September favorites, then just stay tuned because I'm just going to jump right into it. So I'm going to start off with my one skincare item. I actually don't even have one to show you guys, but I do have like a little book on it to kind of show you guys. And I will talk about it just so you guys, you guys will get an idea of what it is. But it's the Garnier Tissue Masks. It's for dark spots and hydration. This is what the book on it looks like. It's like a pamphlet on it. Um, but you can buy these separately, like individually, or you can buy a pack of... 10 I think it is. Um, I bought individual packs. I bought three individual packs and then I got this one as like a sample one day when I was shopping and I actually just used this one today before I did my makeup. I think that they're one of the first sheet masks to come to Canada. I don't really know any other brands that have them other than this one but um, I personally love it. It makes my skin feel so soft and that's why I like to kind of use them before I do my makeup sometimes. Just like if I feel like my skin is looking really dry or dull, I'll pop one of these on for 10 minutes and then just do my makeup like I usually would. And I feel like it just sits way nicer and my skin just looks clear before I even do my makeup. I'm definitely going to go and buy the box of them instead of buying the individuals from now on just because I feel like I'll definitely get a lot of use out of that. If you guys want to check these out, just you can, I guess, Google them. I think that they're in most drugstores wherever Garnier is sold. That's where I found mine. And yeah, I really love these. I really recommend them if you guys are looking for a good sheet mask. It's very hydrating and it softens your skin like crazy. So definitely check these out if you guys are looking for a good sheet mask or just face mask in general. Next, I guess I'll talk about my makeup. So I'll start off with the primer that I have. This is a new primer that I've been using lately in replacement of my Benefit Professional. The only reason that I replaced it is because the store that I usually buy that at was out of it for like two weeks or whatever when I needed a new one. So I kind of found something that was along the same lines as the Benefit Professional and I actually really, really like it. I don't know if I would say I like it more, but I feel like it kind of does different things than the poor professional if that makes sense but it's the Smashbox photo matte anti shine primer it's a very similar consistency to the benefit one maybe not as um, soft and like buttery but it kind of does the same things where it fills in your pores and kind of blurs the look of blackheads I guess I actually think it's kind of crazy. I used it on one of my friends one day and I just put on one side of her nose and it actually looked like she barely even had blackheads. It was actually crazy. Like I couldn't even believe it. And the other reason why I really like this is because I feel like it does actually keep me matte all day, especially my T-zone. And I don't really feel like the Benefit one did that. I feel like the Benefit one is more for um, filling in your pores and kind of filling out lines. Like I have a crease in my forehead that I like to put the Benefit one in because it kind of fills it, if that makes sense. I don't feel like this one does that, but I feel like it's definitely more better at keeping me matte all day. The only places that I put it are on my nose and on my chin, and then I use a different primer on the rest of my face. But yeah, I really love what this does for my skin. I feel like my makeup sits so wonderfully over top of it. And like I said, it does keep me matte all day. So you guys should try this, especially if you're very oily, just because you might like it in those certain areas. And I don't know, it might do wonders for you like it does for me. So um, yeah, definitely check that out if you guys are looking for a new primer, especially like a mattifying primer. Next, I have a new foundation. I cannot believe I haven't tried this foundation until just recently because it's been on the market for such a long time and I feel like so many people have used it but I just never really jumped on the bandwagon with it. 
Um, but I finally decided to try it because, as you guys know, I'm completely, completely, completely obsessed with Nicole Guerrero and her videos. And this is the foundation that she uses, and she has oily skin like I do. So I just thought, like, what am I doing and why have I never tried this foundation? So it's the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, just the original one. It's not like the Lumi one or whatever. My shade is W2. It's the second shade of the warm toned ones because I'm very yellow undertoned and all the other ones just look really pink on me but I love this foundation I don't know why I didn't try it until just recently but it's so amazing for people with oily skin I feel like it sits so flawlessly throughout the day I do not get shiny from this and I do not feel like I have anything on my face plus it covers very well and it is buildable I feel like um what I usually do is I dot it all over my face and then I use a damp beauty blender sponge to blend it in and then if I have like certain spots that I want to add a little bit of extra coverage to I can just dot over that again in just those spots and do the same thing and it's amazing and it all just blends together perfectly and it just looks flawless. I definitely will be repurchasing it when I run out of it so if you guys have oily skin you should definitely try this. I don't know if it would be as good for dry skin just because I find that if I have little dry patches on my face this does kind of grab at those a little bit so I'm thinking that if you have dry skin you should stay away from it but if you're oily or combination or even like normal skin type I think that this is amazing and I really 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 recommend that you guys try this. Now this next thing I've talked about like a billion times in my videos and I feel like I've been using this forever but this actually goes with that foundation so it's the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I'm in the color W123. Um, this is the best drugstore concealer I've ever used. This one I feel like has the best coverage that I've ever tried. Um, as soon as I put it over a blemish or a spot or anything and blend it in with my beauty blender it is gone and you can't see it. And also the other thing that I really like about it is that I can put it over powder throughout the day and it doesn't really get that cakey which I like just because um, I like to touch up my makeup throughout the day if I feel like it's starting to wear off or whatever I like to stay flawless all day so I do like to touch up my makeup and I like that I can do that with this concealer because most concealers will pull your powder away and kind of make it all patchy and not good so this one's really good for that but yeah I mean this has been intense on my videos um, so it should come as no surprise to you guys but this and the foundation are like my current dream team for my skin so you guys should definitely check out this true match line by L'Oreal because it is amazing Next I have a powder. This has also been in quite a few of my videos. I think I've been using this forever and I've gone through tons of these now. I've totally lost track because I buy a new one like every single month. But it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm in the color Transparent which is the lightest shade. I like this shade because it's the yellowest and it's also the lightest and I'm very pale. So um, it works perfect for me. The only thing that I would say is kind of um, a thumbs down for these powders is their color range. I don't think that they have a very good color range. A lot of them are really pinkish grayish colors. So usually if I'm at work and somebody asks me about it, um, I can't recommend it to them just because the shades are so weird. But if you think that you have similar colorings to me, then you can try this shade out because it works perfect. It definitely stays matte all day. I do touch it up a little bit. I usually just carry it with me, but I feel like I'll have to do that with any powder just because I get so oily. And yeah, if you guys once again are oily or even combination, I would recommend this. It doesn't have a lot of coverage to it because it is translucent, but it does wonders for keeping your oil under control. So definitely give that a shot if that's what you're looking for. Next I have a Makeup Junkie staple. If you're obsessed with makeup and you don't have this item, you need to go out and buy it because I feel like anybody who is into contouring and bronzer needs this in their life. This is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I think pretty much everybody has this. I don't know many people on YouTube who don't have this. It's the best color I've ever used for contouring in my entire life. It's completely matte and it has a little bit of a... Um, a grayish undertone it's not too red so it looks very natural when you contour I don't know if you can see my contour or not but I contour with it every single day and I get tons of compliments some days I'll walk into work and people are like what do you have as your contour because the color is perfect so 
I've actually put a pretty good dent in mine, surprisingly. I think I've had this for like two years now, but I've been using it every single day for months now, so I think I'm actually going to end up hitting pan on it pretty soon, and I think I'll be really proud when I do. It is definitely a must-have, and the other bonus to it is that it even works for pale skin tones like mine, so don't worry about that if you're super white, because I am like snow white pale, and it still looks really natural on me. Um, next I have something that I don't think I've ever talked about in one of my videos. I think I've been using it for about a month now, I'm gonna say. It is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color, and it looks like this. It's basically like a felt tip brow marker, which when I first seen this I was so skeptical and like it freaked me out and I did not want to try it. Um, I actually tried it because the store that I work at just recently got Stila so I kind of was never really introduced to the brand until our store got it and I kind of had to learn about it just because I obviously will get questions about it but yeah when I was doing training with this brand um, I thought that this was the weirdest thing ever and I really did not want anything to do with it um, but then I seen somebody demo it and I thought that it looked so incredibly natural and amazing that I figured that I should try it and I'm so glad that I did because A the color is perfect for me, B it does really stay all day, and C I think it's really versatile in the way that if you want more of a heavier look on your brows towards like the outer edge of it you can do that or if you want kind of like a lighter look towards the inner corner of your eyebrow you can also do that so I feel like um it works all around. I don't know, I, it's very different from anything that I've ever tried. I'm usually a powder or pencil type girl, but this is amazing and I'm super glad that I tried it. So this has become my everyday eyebrow product now and I cannot stop using it. <laughs> Surprise, I have another Stila product. Um, it's the Stila Forever Your Curl Mascara. This is really different from anything that I've ever tried because usually I only use drugstore mascaras, but this brush is like, if you can see it like super super tiny it's like very very thin it is a spoolie brush so it's not plastic the reason that I love this so much is because it is so small you can get to the very 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 base of your lashes and just really curl them up and it goes right off the tip and it just makes your lashes look so long because you literally can get right to the bottom of your lash it makes them look like 10 times longer and I mean I do have pretty curled eyelashes already. I don't curl my lashes on a daily basis, so I'm not sure how well it actually does for curl, but I really like it just for the fact that I can really get into every single lash. I do layer another one over top. This is another one of my favorites. It's the CoverGirl Lash Blast 24 Hour, but I like to layer this over top of the Stila one just to kind of give me more of like a bold look because this one doesn't really give you a bold look. It kind of just lengthens really well. So I usually go in and do like two, three coats of this over top and I feel like they're the perfect combo for my lashes. My lashes is like super long and spread out and this one helps it to stay all day because it is a long wearing mascara but it does come off really nicely at the end of the day which is nice and this is a good mascara even on its own if you guys want to try that but um, this one I feel like doesn't get talked about very much so I figured I should show it to you guys so those are my two favorite mascaras as of right now and that's actually it for my makeup stuff so now I'm going to show you guys um, my favorite perfume of the last couple months I guess. I don't think it's been exactly a month but I've just been wearing this perfume a lot lately. It is Prada Candy. It has a lot of like caramelly type notes to it so it's kind of like a really um, sensual sweet type of fragrance. It's not necessarily fruity sweet but it's just like kind of candy sweet I guess. But I feel like it's the perfect fragrance for this time of year kind of like fall and winter when it's getting colder just because it is a little bit heavier. I really like to wear this at nighttime too when I go out. I do have a roller ball um, of the same fragrance so I usually shove this in my purse and then I'll spray this on myself before I go out but I love this fragrance I'm completely obsessed with it and I also like it because it lasts all day like I'll spray it on myself and like hours later I'll get like little whiffs of it off myself and I'm like ooh, it's so nice so if you guys have never smelled it you should definitely go out and sample it if you have a place that you can do that you'll probably fall in love with it just be warned because it is so beautiful but I've been completely obsessed with it lately I have the biggest size I have the 80 ml bottle which I think costed me like $125 but I got this with it so I don't know I think it's worth it I love this fragrance so you guys should definitely go out and sample it if you can and my last favorite is my it's a 10 miracle leave-in 
spray. This is basically exactly what it sounds like. It's a leave-in conditioner type spray. It's supposed to do 10 different things. It's supposed to repair, add shine, detangle, control frizz, seal and protect hair color, prevent split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhance natural body, and flat iron and thermal protection. I think that it lives up to those standards. It makes my hair feel so soft. I have it in my hair right now. I washed my hair yesterday. And basically what I do with it is spray it in the palm of my hand and then I'll just like rub it through just the ends of my hair. I like it because it doesn't weigh it down. It doesn't um, make my hair feel greasy. Most products will kind of um, just bulk it down and make it feel really gross and make me have to wash it like every day but this one I feel like doesn't do that um, it's a little bit expensive this says it was $36 and I actually got this in the US I got it in Hawaii so that would be US dollars I think that it's sold at most salons I got this one at like a beauty supply store but it is very much so a miracle in a bottle I think it makes my hair feel like angel hair it's so soft definitely a favorite of mine and I'm definitely going to probably use up a whole bottle of it and that is it for all of my current favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my Twitter and my Instagram and all that jazz. I always put it in the pullout info bar down below for you guys. Um, I love each and every one of you so much. I've gotten a ton of new subscribers in the past couple months. So welcome if you're new to my channel. I love all of you guys, even if you're new. Um, and yeah, I hope you're all having a good day wherever you are. And I will see you guys all in my next video. I've gotta say